Let us try to understand what is feature based concept or feature based modeling in Creo Parametric. By the way, Creo Parametric is also called as a feature based product development tool. So in feature based modeling, we are building or we are creating one simple feature at a time. And for you to understand this concept, I have created a sample 3D model, a 3D solid model of a connecting rod and I will be showing you. And uh, one thing before explaining this particular topic of feature based concept, I would like to make it clear that I have not followed any dimensions for creating this particular connecting rod which you are seeing on the screen. So my objective was to make you understand what is feature based concept. So I have randomly created, uh, I have randomly assumed some dimensions and have tried to form a connecting rod. So I beg your pardon if you are really feeling that the design or the dimensions are inappropriate. Clear? But my intention is, my intention over here is to explain you what is a feature based modeling. Clear? So this is a connecting rod what you're seeing on the screen right now and uh, so what is a feature based concept the model that i have constructed for creating this particular model i have followed a series of easy to understand features rather than confusing mathematical shapes and entities so i will be using the particular model tree on the left hand side and i have already mentioned you that the model tree helps us to jump to any particular step that we have followed when we were creating the model so these are the steps which i have followed and these are the series of uh, easy to understand features i can say clear so let me go to the first feature or first step that i have created in order to make this so-called connecting rod clear so this is the first step which is an extrude command so I will be explaining you in the next videos what is extrude and what is around everything so don't worry about it. Right now please try to understand what is a feature based modeling. So in order to create the connecting rod this is the first feature that I have created. So this is nothing but an extrusion or a cube a 3D, 3D solid model uh, that is basically forming the overall shape and size of the model which I am intending to create. Clear? So after this the next feature what I have created is a round option. You can see on the top side I have created a round. And after this the next feature that I have gone into is another round at the base. So right now I have removed the sharp edges. And after that I have created another feature which is nothing but an extrusion at one end. You can see more clearly clear and after this I have created another feature on the right hand side by mirroring the first feature the previous feature and in this process you can try to understand one thing that each and every feature is with respect to the previous feature I mean they are referring to the previous feature right so the moment I have mirrored the right side extrusion this right side extrusion was with reference to the first feature I have selected this feature I have selected the plane of mirror and I have generated a mirrored solid extruded part on the right hand side or a feature. So each and every feature is in relation with the previous feature. So after creating these two sections I have created a hole. Firstly I have created a hole on the left hand side. So this is another feature which I have created and I have mirrored the hole on the right hand side. And the last two finishing touches were given by using the round command. This is something similar to fillet command which we have seen in the sketching part. So in this process I have generated a complex part by following the methodology of approaching a design or creating a design feature based. Clear? So this is all about feature based modeling or feature based concept in Creo Parametric. Here you can individually create each feature of the geometry which is very simple to create and uh, after creating each feature they are added together and they form a complex part or an assembly.
as we have seen in this particular example of the connecting rod. So this is all about feature based modeling. Let us go to the next video.